There we go. Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace, mighty Lieutenant Rakeel, at your service. And... Okay, no, that's... <laughs> For a second, I thought I'd mis... Yeah, I missized the gameplay window, but uh, no, the... The bars, the black bars at the side, those are in the game as well. And yeah, welcome back to Ray Ran Rayman Redemption. What is it with me constantly almost miss saying it as Raywam? Or Ray Wang. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to finish the game today. Otherwise, we can try one more time after that, I guess. But yeah, last time uh, we got to what normally would have been the end of the game. With, well, a boss rush, after which there would have been another boss. Uh, but yeah, there's something we kind of forgot about at the very start of the game, which, well, just look at how many levels we went through, each with like three or four, you know, three to five acts or something inside of them, or stages or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, over here at Batilla, I'll tell you're doing amazing. Keep it up, Rayman. If you can break open 120 cages in total, I can increase your base health by one. And as you can see, that's already happened twice. You can yeah. you, the first two you get at 10 cages and 50 cages. And uh, yeah, I I tried to get more. And also, this is how it looks if you get everything in level. But I just had to give up from just how long it was taking. Yeah, and I already I have think... Digimon to grind as well. Yeah, I feel like I know why we forgot that part for... A... I think I remember she actually telling us about this, but then we got interrupted by Dark Tune. Yeah. And then everything flew out from there. And another thing I was wrong about is that when you run out of lives, you do not get sent back to the start of the game. You get, uh, yeah, you get kicked to the start of the level, not the start of the game. I feel like that was the of the old one, or they maybe they fixed that in this one? Maybe. Something they did, quote unquote, fix up is that they put all of these boost arrows around here. So that it's actually doable to get out of there without, uh, <clears throat> without such high requirements. Yeah, highly, uh... <laughs> it's, it, those arrows make it a lot easier to get through there, simply put. Oh, yeah. We've seen this before. Okay, now we know what to do with all of this, so this isn't really much of a challenge. We just need to be careful. At least it's kind of stupid, since it was not you who got. I forgot as well about those health upgrades. Yeah. Okay. Over to one side, jump over. If I actually thought they were in the... All the places that we bought the upgrades from. Uh, yeah. Dumb mistake. Uh, 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 shut up, you. Uh, yeah, in the original version, he doesn't say a damn thing throughout the entire game. Okay. So yeah, in the original, his uh, intentions and such could only be inferred by his actions. Okay. Gotta keep going, don't rush too much. Uh, I kind of have to wonder how many things would have been slightly hmm? easier with extra health. Yeah. Okay, I had a, had a lag on my end. Okay. Is that a bit of that kind of lag spike? But yeah. There. It probably would have a little bit, but not by much since the game is still hard. Yeah, I, I rewatched the Just Drive Hayes video on it, and yeah, he outright calls the hell for that one again. He calls the design of the game outright sadistic at some points. So yeah. If I'd ever gotten my hand on this game uh, when I was younger, I never would have finished it. Those were new. 
Okay. I think that was the case for most people. You have to be extremely stubborn to finish this game. Yeah, and nowadays I have access to, like, a, I think I have a library of over 500 games or such, so I have more than plenty of choice to go play something else if something annoys the piss out of me. Okay. All of those are distractions, because damage power-ups won't work against bosses. Yeah. But I hope we're able to finish this game today. And if you need to know another stream, I will say this. It will depend heavily how we do today. Yeah. Like, okay. if you said this before, it think it's too painful for our brains. Uh, not, I'd say if it gets too annoying to be enjoyable. Yeah. Then we will drop it, so... Yeah, we either finish it today, or... Yeah, we will see, we give it a chance. Okay, that... I missed that because of the slippery floor. I was trying to grab onto the ledge, but nope. Okay. Right, I gotta go check on my food. So, um... Don't die! Uh, no promises, because, well, you saw what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, if we if we don't manage to finish the game today, uh, yeah, I'm willing, oop. I'm willing to give it at least one more try after that, because we were originally planning to start this stream at 2 p.m. here. But I got invited by Beanie to join his, uh, uh, yeah, his dark side, not dark side, dark tide stream. And yeah, Beanie streaming, especially multiplayer, has gotten extremely rare these days, so yeah. Okay. There, there. Okay. Slide under that. Okay. And now we jump up there because I remember that the lower end is a trap. Uh, right. ooh, ooh. Forgot about that switchback. Yeah! And there we go. First stage done. Multiple to go. Uh, including this freaking control swap one. And what? Okay, I only now notice that Rayman looks fucking pissed during this. Yep. There. There. Yeah, he's, he's probably pissed that his controls have been reversed as well. There. There, and yeah, nothing much to say other than, well, your controls have been reversed. You need to keep that in mind. Or, yeah, I'll screw up it. what they say it works. Welcome back. You usually don't die when I say don't die when I walk away. It's kind of rare. And yeah, if it's like it worked. I'm going to hit, so I'm going to need to jump over this one. Like I wonder if that would call, call it reverse jinx. I guess. Okay. Yep. There. Can you get lost, you freaking propeller clown? Oh, it's the extra evil one I see. Yeah. The carpet bomber. Yep. Carpet bomber. I know what it means, but it sounds like a. Yeah, you're insult. throwing out carpets. Yep. It sounds like an insult. Like a. There we go. 
Uh, I guess uh, what you could call a bird? An indoor bird? Okay. That really there needs we your go. carpet. Yep. Yep. Come on. And back to the start. Okay. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I said this last time, but uh, Beyond Good and Evil did reverse controls a lot better. Because with how long this goes, it becomes more of a nuisance than a challenge. And when you annoy your players, well, you're losing your players. Yeah, I almost what? It says we play an old, old game. I think it was the cosplay the, uh, the other day. Okay. I was with uh, one of the old quality clickers. Pays of his cosplay. Yeah, uh, uh, no, that thing. Something I forgot. Uh, some character called uh, Sandria. Then I started to watch Simon the Sorcerer. <laughs> oh. Yep. And when I want to go back to see how many Simon the Sorcerer games there are. Apparently, this year, we got played, uh, it says it was supposed to be released last year, a new Simon the Sorcerer game is coming out. Okay, that's a new one. Yeah, it also looks kind of nice. It, it kind of has the uh, Western anime feel, if you get what I mean, like Go to the Spy, Mod Mystique and those. Martin Mystery, you mean? Yeah. Okay, it could be interesting. Got a Martin Mystique here for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the art style looks good. The, the animation looks a little bit yanky, which I guess is something they're gonna need to polish. But yeah, yeah. after 30 years, they're gonna release a new one, hopefully this year. And it's gonna be a prequel. Okay. Wait, so it might it's... be a Simon the Sorcerer game without Simon in it or something? Just uh, no, the whole Simon's thing about it. The... Okay. This is kind of weird for... I think it was the first bit of the first game and... Seeing that, then he that the new one is going to be a prequel. Maybe he'd be a bit confused? Yeah, since the, the first movie... Not the first movie, the first game is all about him becoming... The sorcerer, or a sorcerer, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. For now, we have to outrun our shadow again. Okay. Now we know what we need to do here, so it should be a lot more doable. I cannot feel annoyed here. I didn't expect we need to replay all of this just to reach yeah. back to the boss list. Yeah, that's one of the reasons this game is considered hard. There. Okay, get that for a heal. Yep. And I forgot that we need to go to the left there first to get the, the platform on this. Yeah, to get the platform moving. Okay. There. Camera panning up specifically to show us that we're to go this way. There. Okay, grab the power up. I forgot about that snappy little shit. Okay. There. <clears throat> okay, I think we'll have to put in at least one break pathway through uh, the stream because, uh, yeah. You need a bathroom break or yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. For now, at least I'll try to keep focus on this because 15 minutes in is a bit short for a break. Okay. These are going to get rid of themselves. 
Actually, I think I'll go around for one more pass. So we can get rid of both of those. Probably could have done that better by just ducking on one side and jumping over Dark Rayman. But oh well. There. Ah, right, this bit. Actually, I think we can just skip it. This is where this gets dangerous. Yep. Yeah, because we have to constantly dodge him back and forth there. I think I... I think I practically made that... Made it through that bit on a fluke previously. Okay. Yep. There. Actually, just going to drop down. Um, since we get past uh, this anyways. Hmm. If we can keep all those extra hell points down, uh, the red ones, it would be awesome, but I doubt we would. Yeah. Okay, for now, just gotta keep focus. Uh, I, can, I can say this confidently. If we still struggle to get past that, that boss rush, even with the extra health we have currently. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I would not be surprised if we just be dropping it then. Yeah. Like, Since like we've this said, this game is infamous for difficulty. And merciless. There. I guess in a way you could say this one is more darker than the second game. I guess. In terms of it actually break your spirits. There. Okay, that was easier than I thought. There. There, and then it's just a sprint for the end. Yep. And screw your last minute pop-ups. Okay, boss rush with four extra health. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Up too early. Yeah, this one's new from this version. There. Okay, now the hard part. Or the part where we likely get hit the most. Or not at all. Okay. Uh, where do you... Yeah, you go that way. Okay, it should be realize. possible to hit him in this because... I don't think it's so much that the... Yep, we actually did hit him there. The orb tries to follow the fist for some reason or something. Yeah, like that. Okay. We got to keep our red extra health. Yeah, okay. Now, we didn't get past this point. Oh, there, there goes the red health. Really? Oh. Uh. Uh. Dodge all of those. 
Come on. And now we have no extra health beside it. The oh, bonus yeah. core health. And immediately lose one. I was hopeful until we met him. Now all hope was lost. I just gotta say, they made the rock saxophone unnecessarily hard. Yeah. But un I think unnecessarily hard describes a lot in this game. Okay, now the twins. Mosquito. You're dead or hit? There. No, not exit level. I want to look for a restart, but if we're taking hits this early, yeah, I'm, I'm just restarting it. <clears throat> okay. Um, there. Okay, only one hit from them. There. And yeah, it, it, it homes in on any part of Rayman, so if we throw the fist, it'll try to go for that as well. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, just too many rocks, I'd say, with this. After this one, we have yet another one to come. There. Yep. Wrong way. There. Okay, at least he does a shortened version there. Yep. Okay, last one. Yep. Yeah, of course. Okay, that just felt like an insult. We don't get hit on the doubles or twins or whatever you want to call them. I think we can still do it. Yep. I, 
my god, that hurts as well. Why the hell does that hurt? Okay, no high hopes. There. And there. Okay. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I need to thread the needle between the two explosive uh, rocks with that one. This one can just be hopped over. And, yeah, with that one, you. We need to jump, we need to sort of ignore the first one and only focus on getting over the second one. Again. Okay, just, uh, just end this one. If we take hits on this guy, it's already set to lose. Well, yeah, they really should have put in something to let you restart from here separate this out yeah. into its own stage. And if... I we are lost. There is no healing items in this game at all, is it? Now there's the health... Hey. There's the little red power-ups that do heal us. They could have dropped those uh, after each second one of these or something. Yeah, I feel like they should have done that for... Oh, and right. right. Uh, apparently, this game was not supposed to be hard as balls. It's just that the developer they never they had to rush it out so that they didn't they couldn't have it play tested. So only developers play tested the game beforehand, who well knew the game inside and out. Oh. Yeah, we, we talked about this before Steam that because you how hard this game is. It's, it's a. They are luckily they became a franchise to begin with. Yeah. Well, uh, if a game is so hard and so infamous or uh, back then, it could have killed off the franchise before it started. Yep. Only one hit. I'm, I'm not going to be saying much today with this, because, well, come on. I need to focus. Yeah, even I'm turning quiet if let you focus. There. Okay. Now the rock solo... Uh, now the, the rock song with the Saxophone solo. Small hop. Nor. And still. Uh. Yep. Also, a complaint with the game is that the hitboxes are often off. So something that should look like a it hurts does not. <clears throat> Come the fuck on with your fake. Just throw it or don't. No f shielding bullshit. Okay, 
One thing I can think of to help dodge with the doubles is to crouch down between attacks. Then we should get go underneath. Hopefully underneath. Or I just rush it. I don't know what you need to do to get him, get them to hit it themselves uh, consistently with that one. Okay. Is there maybe some other trick I could try with uh, the next one? Can I maybe duck underneath some of the shards? Okay, bombs away. Nope, cannot duck. Yep, there, that is what needed to be done. Okay, easy enough. Okay, now he changes up. I hit one of the small jackasses. One more to deal with you, and then it's the last one. There. I can't tell if there's enough room to run underneath them. Cut that shit out. Okay, at least we know how to correctly dodge uh, rock saxes uh, attacks there I'd still say that the window of opportunity to attack those is oops right for I forgot that it was these next. And of course I get hit after they die. the hands there but it ugh. there yeah, they, they really should have reworked this level to put in a checkpoint or something in the middle though with how the with how bosses in the original worked I presume it was basically impossible mm. at the very least they could have made it so that the orb doesn't hurt when you accidentally hit it there we go At 
least this one can be taken as a bit of a breather. Probably the hardest of these. There. Really? Then I get it. Uh. There. Now he changes up. That one's a lot easier to dodge. There. And there. Okay. Three hits on Mosquito Mama. Yeah, I really don't... I really don't see enough time on there to run underneath without getting hit. Okay, now are we getting a health refill for this at least? Because it's still not over. Well, you know what they say. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Nope, no refills. At least start. Okay, at least we start there. Okay. And with health refilled. Okay, so they can do checkpoints in the middle of boss fights, but the well, it's a new boss fight. Okay, just that's too many hits. Okay. comes out real quick with that lightning. Okay. Boxing us in. about to say none none over here I don't think this is going to be the one, but we can at least try. Uh, 
Yep. Really? Okay, I thought repositioning there might help a bit, but no. Okay, probably best to just stay in this corner, though that is going to be a problem with the, the helix bolts. The flash is when to jump, basically. For that one, we need to be at the end. Okay. He has six hits, we have five. If we can at least get two hits in on him before we lose... Ow. Before we lose health, we should be okay. Yep. I thought he was going to lightning. There. Now the helix bolts, which didn't hit here. Another lightning. I don't think I've seen a bolt come down at the very end there. That might be a safe spot. Okay, what are you going to up be up to now? Oh, right. The moving flames. Yep. Okay, moving flames and the helix bolts. Okay, that one's going to be especially nasty. I'm a bit flabbergasted. Yep. Or whatever you call it, a species. How the heck do you expect kids to finish this? Like, yes, I know the kids, but they could be very damn skilled. But bloody heck! This is something that is a bit beyond uh, most children. Yeah, this game wasn't really made... It looks kiddy and such, but it's definitely not made for kids, and this is going to be another loss. Just stick our nose in the flames. Yeah, uh, it's so just They wanted to make it for kids, just... Yeah, since they did not get it play tested. Yeah. A bit too hardcore. Okay, moving flames. <laughs> Caught the absolute end of something there. The fireball's hitbox is bigger than expected. There. Rebound. Too late. Yeah. I keep getting the angle at which he's going to come in wrong.
Sí. Okay, and he immediately comes charging. Okay, moving flames. Not much time to react to that one. Got him on the reap. And that that's the great pro tune. There. Keeps casting me off guard with that. It really has a lot of cheap shots. If that makes sense. Like uh, things you, you. It's extremely hard uh, to have a chance to react to. And it is quite literal lightning that he throws out. Okay, so we can get hit uh, trying to hide there. It doesn't help that the physics on this are a bit. Okay, flames. As we can avoid dumb hits, like when he's doing this, for example. We should be good. Not this time. Only release throw when he's coming towards. It, uh, at least it's only the first hit. get outside of those because he puts them at the edges lightning I thought he was going to charge already I will admit that I I looked up uh, videos on how to actually get through this hellscape. So yeah, that's why I know that we need to hit the great protoon out of his hands. All right. 
and I will not uh, complain at you, at you for doing that, considering which game you are playing. Yeah. Good uh, finale track, though. There. There. Oh, yeah. That bit on the when it starts to go back, I think I can make it if I run a, for a tiny bit there. Well, 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 Warm our nose in the fire. Okay, the tail ends of those don't hurt. Widows come down is completely random. Okay, halfway. Only one hit taken. Now the rain. Yep, he's he threw most of them outside of him. Okay, I'm pretty sure that when he dives in here, it's basically a guaranteed hit. At 
least all the attacks get introduced one at a time, not multiple at once. Now the flames. Game at least pausing a second to let you notice that the flames are moving. There we go, yeah. Just this quick sprint back. And we're safe with that one, but not. Uh. Maybe if we run underneath him, we can spare a hit when he charges. I'm not really sure if to call this a charge or not. Slowly learning, slowly finding weaknesses. Uh, three times hit, three times hit during this. Okay. That wasn't going to be a win anyways. Definitely going to need to put in time marks on this one for actual progress. That you just like, put out all the phases, you just read off how many times you failed. <laughs> So welcome back. Wait, what? Yeah. You, you, oh, yeah. you said you'd got to, uh, you had to do something, right? Yeah, yeah. I had I, I put on my short chain in my headphones a long ago already. Yeah. Okay. There. Now the power shower. Let's see if we can get through this one without getting hit. Okay, one, two, three, run back. Not run back enough. <sighs> so uh, I'm just gonna tell you to go take a bathroom break before continuing. <laughs> We are basically an hour, so yeah, after this one, I'm going to step away for a sec. Yeah, but I feel like it might be easier to focus when you don't need to use the bathroom. There. But yeah, don't, don't too many boss fights and whatnot. Uh, thinking, oh, I can hold it, I can hold it. They realize my focus dropped a lot due to it, so I just pop. Would you buffer it anyway? There. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. He just, that's basically a, an insured hit. Okay, here we go again with this. Okay, at least the last two hits go a lot easier. So, yeah, quick BRB. Uh, there. Go. That shouldn't make too long of a cut. Okay. I lost half an hour. Oh. Hmm. There. If, if overall the game has good design and all, it's just that they didn't fucking play test it. Like, like I said, the. the the different attacks they use just get introduced one at a time, except for the, well, the flame and the shower, which gets added at the same time, but it would be boring if it just put a bunch of flames on the stage and didn't do anything else. Okay. Yeah, he's actually at his most dangerous when he's bouncing around like that, because he becomes unpredictable. These attacks are all predictable in how they go and how they can be dodged. Except this one, which is randomized, I think. Okay. Dancing flames. Let's 
two, three, four, up, five, six. Yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure I jumped there. You did just. I think that means milliseconds too late. Okay, so it is possible to somewhat dodge him. It's just a really freaking precise window there. What is it helping is that my fan is muck is messing with the cloth I use to to place my elbow on. So it keeps pushing it around. A preview of that attack for the next one. I basically should only throw it at him once he's coming down uh, from low towards us. Okay. Two, three, five, six. getting doled out from this. Surprised that one didn't that last one didn't hurt me. That one would, uh, hit me because of indecision of going left or right. Come on. 
Now he's actually aiming. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, he's the most dangerous when he's bouncing around like that. There. I'm just going to stick in the absolute corner. Corner camping. There. The first one is that he's kind of a big one, but the lighter one... Eh. Nope, not it. If I get hurt, hurt too much before the last half, I'm just going to yeah, try again. There. One thing I feel like they should have done is... Well... Make it easier to gain those health. Yeah. With the max health, you, you mean the permanent yeah. ones? The, the, the yellow ones. Since, yeah, you need so many just to get a few more health. There we go. Yeah, much safer if we just stay in freaking place. This one feels rather random if you get hit or not. There. Okay. Now, if we do not get hit here at all... It's, well, basically impossible with that. <sighs> At least we can nick him a bit easily with that one. It knows we could hit him during this phase, but it's gonna be harder when we're trying to invade everything. Was impossible to dodge unless I'd stayed still. Really, that still hurt me. 
Have we always been at this bus for one hour or so? Not in a whole hour. Alright, uh wait, right. Okay, time for the dancing flames. Basically, hit the the protoon there, or get hit ourselves. Uh, we need at least like three hits in that area. Jump and punch, we're likely to hit him in the opposite corner, which is likely to set him bouncing straight into us again. Probably didn't need to move like that to dodge, but oh well. Okay, full health here. Let's see if we can keep it. Okay. Oh, come the fuck on. If we don't hit it there, it's basically a guaranteed hit. Okay, he grabs it. He does it again. That fucking thing hurts us as well. Come on, really? I feel like we were that close.
there, took a risk. And we can we we can be real close to the fire before getting hit. Okay. We just corner camp and hit him only really from below. We can't really hit us during that. Okay, no hits during this. Okay, now he pulls out his stress ball. There. By staying low, it becomes a lot more predictable where his shots will go. Ugh. Yeah, this this is where this is where the original game would have ended. But it, honestly, if we get past this, I'm good for calling it there. But uh, yeah, the the redemption version or they added another level and another boss fight to this. So... After this, do you just want to call it or do you want to at least see the extra stuff that they made? I say just call it for... I, even I'm going for straight every game like you, but also be bored. There. Okay, now the random power shower. Uh. Okay, last one on us both. And that's it. <sighs> yeah, the, on the only time this one really comes becomes dangerous is during the dancing flames bit. Because there is absolutely no way to tell where there's going where they're going to be. And then you also have to keep in mind just the freaking moving flames. And to add on that, we need to keep an eye on Mr. Dark to see where, when the hell he stops to move. So we know to dodge his charge. The 
Design-wise, it probably would have been a lot better to have an occasional mi mi yeah, boss fight with Mr. Dark where he introduces each of these attacks. And then have them all combined here at, in the finale. Next one. There. Okay, stress ball time. Okay, last one. Oh, we, we can still hit him out of his hand in the middle of that. There we go. Fuck off. No. I cannot land like this. Not yet. I need more time. Say goodbye to your precious world, Rayman. Ugh. Master of Candy Chateau, and there he fucks off to... Well, there. Auto save. Okay. And uh, yeah, that mucked everything up. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Is this the thing that fans added or This is fan made. Okay, at least I'll at least we'll give it a shot here. So otherwise this would only be a stream of an hour and a half, with a lot probably cut out. Hopefully the fan stuff is a bit more balanced. There. I, at least the fans would have play tested so, most of it. Yeah. I hope. Okay. No need to give me this thing, guys, just because I'm climbing. Hey, it's me. I bet you didn't recognize me without my body. Well, it just so happens that Mr. Yep. Well, it just so happens that Mr. Dark didn't actually blow me up for good. He just took away all my powers. That means I can't fight you anymore. <laughs> hello there, Sensei. Thank you for the raid. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm Captain Hillian. Over here, we have my co-host, Rakir. Hello. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, welcome aboard again. I generally stream a variety of games, mostly for the story, though here and there we do have multiplayer shenaniganery. Uh, currently, where possible, Borderlands 2. And, uh, yeah, welcome to Rayman Redemption, where we just, <laughs> we just finished where the original game would have ended, with the, a fight against Mr. Dark, which was, well... An hour and a half about of just first trying to get through the boss rush and then just uh, dealing with him, him with Mr. Dark himself. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, yes, even though we are in casual mode with this, this is still just uh, a really frustrating game. Uh, let's give you a shout out, Sensei. What were you up to and how are you doing today? Let's see, Destiny 2, okay. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. That means I can't find you anymore, but to be honest, I was getting a bit bored of that. You were getting bored of getting your ass kicked? You go take down Mr. Dark. He was always such a big meanie, even towards me. 
I'm just going to hit the beach and relax. Maybe even have a nice cool drink. With what mouth? <laughs> uh, did the game oh, get on? Dear. Yeah, game got unselected again for some reason. And yeah, all the weirdos that we've helped along the way. Rayman, it's terrible. After your battle with Mr. Dark, we saw him fly through the sky with the great protoon. The whole world is ripping him from the scenes. Mr. Dark is going to do something awful if you don't stop him. You have to take him down once and for all. We're all counting on you. Zit here, we'll take you to him. Just remember there's no going back once you go. <laughs> the magician. Okay, let's at least give this a try, but I am willing to consider the game quote-unquote done. Uh, hello. Oh, that's a lot of health on them. Okay, I'm just going to try and focus mostly on dodging his shots. As I fail at that. And just keep shooting until... Uh... Nope. Wait, what? Okay, did we just pick up the head of his... No. <laughs> uh. Okay, now he's doing... Not always burst fire. But, yeah, at this point, this is... I consider this just a victory... What? A victory lap. To see how far we can get into this before I just get tired of it. Because, yeah, it is blatantly obvious that this game, or that the original version of this game was not properly playtested to see if it was actually doable. Okay, at least we got to the last stage with him there. Okay. Dodge first, attack second. I'm just fully focused on the middle to see where the shots are coming in from. Okay, seriously, what what is that supposed to be? It was see-through this time, so... I'm guessing it counts as a collectible, even though... Yeah. Okay... Here we go. This is pretty easy. Okay, just don't get hit by him on the way back. Get a cheap hit in. Nope, full auto. Last hit. There we go. Now we're finally rid of that copycat. Uh, I can't come any further with you. It's too difficult to fly through the dark tendrils. You'll have to go alone. Please take care. Okay. Nope. Okay, what are you going to do? There, the... the going to hide. I, I thought they were going to try and bite. I get it. <laughs> Hello, someone's been uh, busy at the gym. Can we even... Oh, you, you're, tr you, <laughs> you're winding up to... Yep, yeah, ow. Wait, do you... You don't hurt. You just knock back. What? Okay. Okay, I see what to do then. Or at least for... Yeah, you have to try and use this guy to get to that ring to get that one-up. But we have no use for one-ups. Yep. Okay, but contact damage still works. Um, really? There better be something else that that did as well. Late. <clears throat> okay, 
seriously, what did that change? I don't see anything different. Is that giving him something to punch you into? Was, was that a trap? I think it might have been. Hmm. Yeah, do, do we need to go that way? Um. Okay, there and there. Get rid of these. Do we need to get to that? Hmm. 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 There is an opening up that way, but. He hits is us it up back more. He hits us back more up than yeah, more back than up. And hello, pizza. How are you doing today? Hello, pizza. And I thought we're we supposed to use that thing to just fly over him. We can't have. Mm. Is there any? If is there anything up there beyond that? Otherwise, I feel like I'm just wasting time here. Yeah, I feel like there's, they're missing something here. Yeah, there, uh, there is nothing up there. Okay, my guess, my best guess in then, is that when, when we grab that one and activate that little secret, something is supposed to pop up to let us pass as well. It could have made it more obvious that that would happen. Okay. Hey man, don't look so happy when you get punched. Yeah, Raymond must be a masochist with uh, how much he goes through with all of this bullshit. Let's see, pizza. Uh, there. Don't get hit. Uh... Finally finished everything I had to, you know, the will to do in Zenless Zone Zero. So waiting for the next story update on when they add chapter four, maybe five. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to stream anymore. You could try Genshin Impact, maybe, or Star Rail. Yep, yep that's appeared. It could have been more clear that that would show up here. Okay. So we need to hit them and then jump over them. Okay, this time we are required. We we do need to get hit up into the air by them. There. There. I saw that little sparkle. There, get over them. Yep. Come on, let me grab that. Don't get enough heights to get. Okay, the, don't tell me to play this test. Don't play test this one just to honor the original or something. I doubt that.
Let's see, pizza, oh, hell no, oh, alien, I'm so over it, Genshin, I can't stand to play the game, don't like Honkai, personally, don't like turn back constant, okay, and, uh, hmm, one more try, then we're done with this game, yeah, for, I don't expect it's physically to be a little bit harder here, sure, but, I really don't like the gimmick they want you to do here, to have them punch you up to things that is extremely unreliable. Uh, there. There. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, Tatum. Let's see. Man, I remember playing Rayman Legends as a kid. And now I feel old because Rayman Legends <laughs> isn't that old of a release. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. There. Uh, copy name slash ban and fuck off. Yeah, the, it getting hit by these is too unreliable of a way to get height. Yeah, but then they, you have to make the dangerous by the do spike things. Like, sure, that means they have a way to kill you, but you also need them to punch you up to that. that no, yeah, no, no. I... Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is one of the things I feel like probably sounded awesome on paper, but is not awesome on uh, in practice. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's where we're calling it then. Because we have beaten all that the original game had to offer. Uh, sure, we didn't get to see the ending from that, but... Uh, yeah, all of this is only fan extra work, which is why there's no extra... You know, there's no elect tunes, no magician's token, or whatever that box is. Uh, let's see. You should make mods like me. I'm regular... How, or, uh, I think you. Should, I'm th guessing you mean to be made. Asked to be made a, a mods uh, pizza. Uh, let's see. Where I regularly am at the times. Uh, kidding. It's up to you if you want or not. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't have. To, uh, now Tatum shows up every so often, and I, I would probably <laughs> I would probably trust them with moderation, but they. Yeah, they don't show up. Uh, Uh, anyways, Let's save the game, and yeah, to get the next health up, which would not really help much more anymore. Uh, I was talking about Tatum Pizza. Uh, yeah, there. Okay. If. Uh, yeah, to a degree, I still want to call this one a bit dubious on calling it quote-unquote done, since we've completed all that the original Rayman has to offer, uh, but not the extra stuff that this... Uh, but... Yeah, this... Uh, uh, it's a Tatum. Sorry, I like to sleep in. No problem. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, I, I'm going to call this one quote-unquote done, because, yeah, if the gimmick they tried to put in for that last bit, no. It's too unreliable from what I can see, and beyond that, there is another boss fight with Mr. Dark in there. I, I, I guess the best we could do at the moment is to go watch uh, a video of the ending or something. 
Or maybe I, I, just, I just don't care about it anymore. Uh, like, that has been all the games where it has just made me more pissed off, or so that I just don't. Here, here's. I just don't care. Yeah. I just don't care. It's a pizza. Like I said, it's uh, up to you. Not gonna be like Broken Record asking you to make mods. Uh, wait, so are you finished with streaming Rayman fully? Uh, yeah, I think the only quote unquote major Rayman game we have not streamed is Rayman Arena slash M. And that's more just for multiplayer stuff and such. You can play against bots, I think, but uh, not much of an, too much of an interest on that, I'd say. I will go, I think I will go look for the game to give it a try myself, but for streaming, I'm not so sure. Hmm. Okay then. Um, let's just get let's just get this done here before this music drives me insane. Yeah, hmm. I used to like the tune, but after what's been been through, I kind of dislike it now. Uh, let's see. There are other versions of Rayman. Uh, there are multiple ports of Rayman Two that got released over time. Like for the 3DS, DS, and such, but I've, those are more ports. Let me just do a quick little look for uh, Rayman games. There are a few mobile ones, which we'll of course avoid. Uh, there is also the Mario plus Rabbits games, in which uh, Rayman has a he, Rayman has a DLC themed after him. Uh, let's see. Verify you're human. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Rayman, Rayman 2, Rayman 3, Raving Rabbits, which is more like party game than a full game, I'd say. Uh, Origins, Legends, and let's actually... Uh, when was the game released again? Uh, 1995. Okay, so next year is the 30th anniversary. That would be a good time to release a new game, I'd say. But, well, with how things are at Ubisoft, unlikely. <clears throat> Maybe they'll release some sort of compilation you know, of the of previous games or something. But, yeah. I think that basically means we are done with Rayman, on, well, unless new games get released. <laughs> Again, with the, how Ubisoft's behaving, I'm not sure if we will draw not play the next Rayman game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Tatum, I have Rayman Legends and Rayman Origins on PS3. <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to give Rayman 1 a try, the Rayman Redemption is a free fan game. So you could look that up uh, and, well, suffer. <laughs> I highly advise just the casual difficulty, because otherwise uh, you will go bald from tearing out all your hair. Uh, let's see. Pizza, damn, sucks for you, Drakir. Doesn't it for everyone when you have to do the captchas? Uh, what? What? Okay, either way, this was just an extra stream. I wasn't really planning to stream today. Uh, or actually, I thought I have, I'd have to work today, which is why there was no stream planned for this. Well, um... we did plan to do it in the evening. Just to, since we started heist early, just for we needed a break from it. From Rayman, yeah. And then we thought, um, well, we could try to finish it off on Sunday, we thought. Uh, since we thought it was only the Bosch rush. Okay. Um, we have only a, a bit over an hour left for stream, so too few to continue with Steamboat Heist, I'd say. But there is something yeah. I do want to show off a bit, because I have reworked, as Tatum can see, I've reworked my overlays. And yeah, I may as well show off a bit of a preview for uh, Order of Ecclesia, or Castlevania Order of Ecclesia, once we are done with Steamboat Heists. Uh, let's see, pizza. Uh, because the is a lizard, he is the human, so he would have problems doing a capture that to joke. Okay. <laughs> Um, God, I mean the capture. Like uh, those checks for it, are you human or not, such and such. Oh. Uh, let's see. Tatum, we should get back. 
Uh, yeah, we should get back into, you know, rec with the, the hippity hoppity uh, server. Uh, need to do something to, for, to get everything to regain interest. You could get people to maybe put in, <laughs> maybe to get started on the fair thing and such. Uh, or we can just go after the Ender Dragon. That should get uh, something rolling at least. Uh, but yeah, before we end the stream, uh, let me show the DS. Uh, we've seen this one here. Uh, <laughs> only with now the different uh, <laughs> panels in here. Uh, this is not the scene on which we will uh, be streaming Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. Uh, that will be this one. Or Hold on. Okay, I, I think I just realized a stupid thing I did. Or rather, a bunch of time I wasted because I put in these uh, <clears throat> these slideshows in the side here. Uh, but we'll probably don't see those too much because most of the action with uh, Order of Ecclesia takes place on one screen. Let me actually start up the emulator to show. Uh, da -da -da, there. Yes. Okay, I'm not... Oh, ah, right. Uh, <laughs> it's still set up for this here. Uh, but yeah, I basically... <laughs> I basically spent way too much time, apparently, on these images for the sides. For just a side slideshow where they change every minute or so. Uh, but yeah. Okay, we can do this a bit as a maybe a, uh, an audio test for how loud this is. But yeah, that's a. Hmm. Let's see, pizza. I still have yet to pick that free raid option. I'll pick who you want to raid to stream next stream since I'm about to go to sleep. Okay. Uh. Okay, I can just pause this. Okay, the menus don't show up on the stream, so let's just hit pause on that. We we have two distinct item uh, icons. And if I go here, then I can go with this uh, layout, horizontal, and then the size gap. Oh, I already went to here. Uh, then I just need to resize it to uh, where is it? Window size times five. And there we go. Now it's all matched up mostly. Uh, wait, uh, why did this? Why are they overlapping a bit? What the heck is going on with that? Okay. Yeah, emulators can still be a bit finicky here and there. Hmm. What is? What is up with that? Okay, maybe because I had to. Maybe because I had to run. Uh, what the? Wait, hold on. Where, where am I? Good question on that. Uh, I'm up behind the screen. Uh, no, you are not. Is this cropped wrong or something? Let me know. Oh, I think I know what's going on with this. It's uh, it's OBS being picky again with the names of the uh, uh, properties. Uh, Okay, it's being picky with that again. Let me... I should have a thing in preparation for it to fixing this. Uh, da, da, da. There. Uh, da, 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 da. Scroll up. Okay, I've, I've been keeping a storage... Uh, yeah. How this mostly works is that I put... Uh, the, that I put uh, the images on a hidden Discord thing. And then I'd link them from there, which is how, well, not from Discord specifically, but from the URLs that it makes for those uh, images. Uh, recordings, video work, co-host picks, and then just there, 4.1. Upload to there. Then open in browser. Then I just need to copy the entire damn name that it puts up here and replace the shortened version with that. I do not know why OBS got picky about this all of a sudden. Because before the shortened version was just enough. So there, okay. And there you are. Hello. Put my axe. Erectical. 
Okay, the one thing that I do need to change about this is the transparency because I changed that to 75% on the others. So there and there. And there you go, a much brighter lizard. <laughs> Rarve. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to double check some things then for when we do stream Castlevania. Uh, if I do do it in the stacked uh, line on the other one, or if I have them split apart like this, because I only think I, <laughs> I only found out about this with where the <clears throat> basically the view that I have at the moment is me actually just remove other stuff so I can just show this off. Uh, icons gone, and then display capture. Turn that on. This is what I see at the moment, with them being put side to side like this. Uh, let's see, vertical. No, not rotation, horizontal. Okay, that. Okay, this way it should look correct over here. Hmm, wait, why? Oh, did I forget to. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to resize the subscreen. So let me just correct that at the moment. Uh, there, 60, 0. And the size should be good. Okay, yeah. That, that was just an oversight on my end, it seems. So that should be perfectly correct. Hmm. But, okay, I think... At le hmm. We'll have... I'll have to see how to do that. Might need to tinker a bit when we get to Order of Ecclesia to swap them between these two. Uh, there, vertical. Okay, because Yeah, I, I do want <laughs> I do want the work I've put into these slideshows to be shown off somewhat. And let's see, pizza. Still have yet to pick that free raid option. I'll pick who I want you, know, you guys to raid next stream since I'm about to go to sleep. I, maybe I read that earlier, but you oh did. well. Uh, can I actually fit this in still horizontally when I put it to three times? Uh, actually, yes, that's the correct size. <laughs> I undersized it earlier. Okay. Uh, well, enough of a preview on that. So. Uh, Wrong scene. There. Best to keep that turned off. So, yeah. Nothing embarrassing becomes possibly viewed. Okay, but yeah. Bef before we end the stream, actually, let's go look for someone to raid. So, <clears throat> let's see. We have Dugga Douglas McDog, who is playing The Last of Us Part 1. Moonrise is playing Jackbox. I'm Nice is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Halloween is just chatting. Uh, Heliox watch along in Discord. Okay. Messiah Rasir is playing Dark Souls 3. Jabba's the Moon Seal is playing World of Warcraft. Horatius the Dwarf is playing. Is No, they are just chatting. Ranking the bass or bass with at uh, Amundal. Another. Okay. Uh, let me take a peek at that. Oop. Forgot to mute the browser. Caught that on the last second. Okay. Uh, no idea what might be going on with this. Uh, any of those sound interesting to you? Or shall I take a pick or look for someone new to raid? I'm going to take a pick. Says, I cannot see. Um, let's see. Anything interesting among the recommended? Mm, wouldn't say so. So I guess we're going to raid I'm Nice then. So copy. Head to our place. Okay. Slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, Sensei, for <laughs> the raid as well. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining this madness. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, maybe Borderlands, maybe Watch Dogs, we'll have to see. But in any case, we will try to continue with SteamWorld Heist on Tuesday. So we'll have to see how that goes. <clears throat> but for now, let's get the rate started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Have a lovely Sunday. And watch out for Undead Seagulls.
<laughs> and yeah, whatever Mr. Dark stitches together when he's playing around with his <laughs> his magical stress ball. 